Optimus <laughs> is, um, I think, going to be the greatest uh, product in the history of humanity. What's the progress like, and how much of your, how many of your cycles are going specifically to Optimus? What's the timeline? I think you're on version three, maybe four. Tell us everything. Uh, well, yeah, no, everything would take a long time. We've got um, time. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, we're finalizing the design of Optimus version three. And uh, that, that really is going to be a very remarkable robot. Um, it will have the, essentially the manual dexterity of a human, so meaning a like very complex hand. Um, a, the, a, an AI mind that can navigate and comprehend reality. Um, and it will be made in very high volume. Uh, those are the three things that are missing. Like if you see any other... Um, robotics uh, company, they're missing those three things. Those are the three really hard things. Um, and uh, I, I, I spend actually at this point um, it, it might be more of my mental cycles than anything, anything else, any other single thing on Optimus. Uh, that's, that, that's solving for uh, real-world AI, uh, all of the electromechanical issues of Optimus, the, the supply chain and production challenges of it, because we have, there is no supply chain that exists for humanoid robots, so it has to be, we have to recreate it from scratch, um, and which requires doing a lot of vertical integration. Um, n none of the actuators in Optimus um, are available from an existing supply chain. Um, so, but I, I think it is accurate to say that if successful, Optimus will be the biggest product ever. 